A while back, we had taken a look at a framework that is called Agent Zero. It's a framework that enables anyone to easily deploy autonomous AI agents to do almost anything, whether that is generating code, automating tasks with AI agents, or even generating full stack applications with Agent Zero. It's an AI agent framework that's designed to be dynamic, where you have AI agents who organically grow and learn as you use it. It is a fully open source framework and I truly recommend that you watch my previous video on it. But essentially, it is a framework that provides a lot of flexibility where you can almost do anything with it. And it just got even better with the new release called the Agent version 0.8 update. Firstly, we have a new responsive UI. This is a sleek new dynamic interface, which is something that will let you chat with your different agents and then have it so that you can deploy AI agents within this UI. Next up, you have auto memory. This is where agents can now retain critical information across your task. It's going to improve their efficiency and adaptability as they continuously learn from past interactions. Another new feature is reflections. It's an innovative feature that will allow your AI agent to analyze and optimize their processes in real time. So what this will do is it's going to enhance their ability to tackle complex tasks autonomously without you even intervening. Thanks to Docker, Agent Zero just got even easier to deploy as it's fully dockerized and it's going to be easier for you to scale with containerized agents. It's going to ensure seamless setup and compatibility across any environment. Whether you're running locally or deploying in the cloud, dockerization is going to make this process so much easier for you. So definitely stay tuned in the video as I'm going to be showcasing how you can set this up. You have a lot more configurations and plus on top of this, you have search ng, which is a search engine integration where agents can now access the power of an enhanced web based query processing system. So it's going to provide accurate real time information. You also have a new context window management, and this is going to be able to handle large data sets and conversations so that it's going to ensure agents can operate efficiently. Lastly, there's a lot of small things that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video, but you also have attachment support, which is something that will easily manage and process attachments that you can integrate with different types of file types that you can simply upload as well as with different integrations. Now, this is definitely one of my favorite features because it reminds me of Jarvis, but you now have voice mode enabled within this framework where you can talk to your AI agents in real time. You have voice inputs and outputs, and it's gonna make interactions faster, intuitive, and hands-free. You also have the ability to connect it with other voice models like Whisper, as well as Eleven Labs. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase how you can interact with these AI agents with your voice of generating text-to-speech. On the other side, there is a microphone button. It changes colors based on whether it hears your voice, whether it's recording, waiting for pause, or sending to backend. So let me demonstrate. Can you tell me a joke, please? Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> no, no offense, that was a horrible joke. But you can see that you have this voice to speech system functional within Agent Zero. Now, this is a really cool new update, and it's something that I'm gonna be showcasing now throughout today's video. We're gonna showcase how you can install this and how you can easily get started and use this. Let's get started and showcase how you can install this. Now, usually, I would start off by showcasing the prerequisites, but since this is a framework that is fully dockerized, it's gonna be super easy to install. So go ahead and install Docker if you do not have it already and create an account. Once you have this installed, go over to Docker Desktop. You can obviously install it for whatever operating system you have, whether that's Linux, Mac OS, or even Windows. But once you have opened up Docker Desktop, you can then go into the interface. And what you're going to be able to do is first sign up with an account. So go ahead and sign up. Now afterwards, you need to make sure that you are on the latest version of Docker. So make sure you update to this latest version. You can simply click on this. You can check for updates if you don't have the latest update. And once you have installed all these updates, you can click on cancel, go on images, and then go over to the search tab and search for agent dash zero dash run. Now, you will either see this or you'll see another one that says agent zero run and then it'll say testing. 
But in this case, what you can also do is just switch it over to testing and you can go ahead and click run. This is going to pull the container and start installing everything that is necessary. And this is why Docker is really, really useful. So we're going to go ahead and let it install everything. Now, after it has finished installing, go ahead and click run. And what you will need to do is go over to optional settings. What you can do is you can provide a container name. You're then going to need to provide a host port. So in this case, just go ahead and just click zero. You can add a container path for your uh, for the ability to map different folders into this Docker container. And you can also provide environment variables. In this case, we're not even going to be doing this because we're going to set this up within the uh, UI itself. So we're going to go ahead and click run. And this is going to start this up within our local host within a couple seconds. Once you see that it is running on your address, you can go ahead and open this up within your local host. And there you go. You have Agent Zero fully running and you have the new update fully functional and working. As you can see, you have the microphone which is a part of the new 0 0.08 release. But this is the new enhanced UI of Agent Zero. You can see how easy it is to manage all your chats on the left-hand panel. And what you can do right away is head over to the settings tab. And this is where you're going to be able to configure all of these different types of utilities. You can configure the agent itself, or you can uh, predefine different types of settings and uh, prioritize what sort of embedding you want to use or the utility. Uh, you also have the ability to configure your API keys. In this case, you can paste in your OpenAI, Anthropic, Rock, Google. You have Open Router, and you're going to be even able to link up open source models with uh, Olama. So you can easily configure this within the settings tab. We're going to go ahead and add in an API key so that we can get started. Once you have configured all the settings, whether that's regarding to the model of your choice or uh, the embedding model or even speech to text model, you can then go ahead and click save. Now you have a couple of preferences that you can set. You can have auto scroll on so that when there is inline edits being made, it'll showcase and automatically scroll through the generation. You have a dark mode, light mode. You can turn on speech. You can show thoughts show JSON format, as well as showing the utility messages. So you have a lot of flexibility. And now a part of this new UI, you can pause the agent mid generation. You can import knowledge. You can even upload your files. So in this case, if I click on this, you can go ahead and upload a folder, uh, the ability to manage your files, and you can simply go ahead and upload files to that route. Now you can also observe the history of prior conversations. You also have the ability to reference prior context for RAG. In this case, we're going to go start off by having it generate something really, really simple. So here we go. Here's the prompt. I'm going to go ahead and have it generate a web page for my YouTube channel so that my viewers can learn about AI and reference my YouTube channel as well as its videos. Now, I actually had it to restart this and provide a proper exact model card name for the model. And we can see right away after I sent in this prompt, Agent Zero is generating thoughts, the tools it's going to use, the runtime, and you can see it's starting on generating the code for me. And just look at that. This is the web page that I was capable of generating for my channel, where you're going to be able to click on this and go over to my channel page. You have featured videos. Obviously, it didn't go, do a good job in listing out the thumbnails, but it's fine. We can iterate further on it. But you can see that there's also a frequently asked question uh, FAQ panel. And you can see it showcases what the channel is about. And it also describes why I tend to post. But this was a web app that was capable of generating with the help of Agent Zero. Now, what I'm going to do is test out the speech feature. So let's toggle this on and let's actually chat with it. Hey, Agent Zero, could you please help me with something? Of course. How can I assist you today? Please provide more details about the task you need help with. So I actually have a problem where I do not know how to configure AI agents. Could you please give me a good rough rundown of how I can do this? Configuring AI agents can vary depending on the framework or platform you are using. Here's a general guide using Agent Zero as an example. One, understand the framework. Familiarize yourself with the key concepts of the AI framework you are using. Now, isn't that just amazing? 
This is the capability that you get with this new version 0.8 update from Agent Zero. Now I'm going to leave all the links in the description below. Huge props to the developer. He has done a great job in developing this even further. I'll leave a link to this YouTube page in the description below. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.